Thanks for swinging by the channel to uh, check out my latest beer review. Uh, this episode here, taking a look at one from the Hoof Hearted Brewing Company out of uh, Marengo, Ohio. Uh, they are east of me, a couple hours east of me. Uh, I think they're just north of Columbus, actually. Um, this one here is called One More Again, Dark Lager. I think they have a Czech Pilsner also called this, so this might be a different variant of that. But uh, One More Again, Dark Lager from Hoof Hearted Brewing Company. So you see the artwork there, like the little monster there. He's got, what, a beer bottle in his hand and a slice of pizza there. Kind of busts into a brick wall, flip around to the back side. You actually see the Hoof Hearted logo right there. And one more again, dark lager right there. And this is a lager coming in, a dark lager coming in at the four and a half percent alcohol by volume. Uh, it has been a minute since I've had uh, something from Hoof Hearted. Now they actually have some really cool names, really cool, uh, most of their artwork is typically fairly unique artwork uh, and a lot of really cool, fun names. They're, they're a fun brewery. I think I've had about a half a dozen offerings from them. Um, maybe I've only reviewed maybe two other ones here on the channel and nothing probably within the last couple of years, honestly. I don't even know. Uh, when the last time I reviewed or really even had one from them. So, uh, you know, this is a single. I picked it up. Um, three bucks, something like that. And um, looking forward to it, actually. Uh, so I'm going to crack it open, get a pour in the uh, This Guy's Thoughts a Shaker Pint Glass right there. And while I'm doing that, I hope you hit that notification bell and become a subscriber. Uh, if you're not already, uh, if you like what you see here, you know, uh, give the video a thumbs up. I appreciate that. Check out my other content as well. So, dark lager. It's just, you know, it's basically a lager. Um, with, uh, it's going to be darker in color. Probably a sweet maltier uh, aroma to it. But as you can see, just a dark, darker looking beer there. It's not a porter or a stout or anything like that. It is a lager. It's actually pouring out nice, creating a nice, uh, nice creamy looking head. So you see the logo there. I'll flip that around there for you to see the little monster guy on there. All right, so we got about two fingers uh, of a fairly creamy head. There are a few uh, scattered larger, uh, you know, dish soap or fish eye bubbles popping away in the top there. Uh, decent carbonation on the edges. So check out what it looks like there. Uh, you might glance at that and think porter or stout or something like that. Um, dark lagers really, uh, you know, they don't get a lot of, you know, a lot of love really. And I don't know if they're going for like a dunkel, which would be a dark lager or something like that. But um, you know, typical uh, dunkel dark lager style uh, look to it. Yeah, you got that sweet uh, caramel maltiness to it. Roasted, sweet caramel, roasted maltiness. You know, maybe uh, a little bit of um, an earthiness to it, if I'm really digging in there. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and get a drink on this and uh, see what it's all about. Four and a half percent alcohol very thin body now you look at that and you, and you might think thin body but it's a fairly thin body beer uh, it's got a roasted maltiness to it as it should sweetness to it sweet roasted uh, maltiness to it minor hints of a coffee you might even say a bit of a, a cocoiness to it but um if you are a lager drinker and you're just wanting to, you know, you're like, ah, I don't want those porters or stouts or anything like that. Uh, check this out. Check out a dark lager, uh, you know, seek out a Dunkel dark lager and um, crack it open and see if you like it. That, that's pretty much it. It, it. This is just kind of, to me, this has always reminded me of dark lagers, Dunkel styles of like a lower level uh, porter or stout or something like that. Um, 
I know I have friends that would not like a stout or a porter that I think they could probably, they probably like something like this. Especially a lower ABV one. Um, knock out a lower ABV, you know. All right, so. Uh, scoring this bad boy. It's a solid one. Uh, for the style, it's very good. Um, I'm just going to throw out a 4.15 out of 5. Um, I actually am going to, um, you know, kind of drink away at this one here after I shut off the camera. And uh, it's it's a pretty solid one, man. Like, there's no complaints, um, you know, from me on it. Uh, it is what it is. It's a dark lager. It's not supposed to be some crazy amped up beer like I typically do here on the channel. But um, just good solid uh, drink and dunkle. So... Like, subscribe, comment, check me out on social media, check out my other content, and, um, you know, give the video a thumbs up, I'd appreciate it. Thanks for watching.